Okay, YouTube, this is my um, super inexpensive moving time lapse dolly, I mean, slider thing. Um, I spent actually only like $5 and like 20, 30 cents making this because I just had a bunch of, I used a bunch of random stuff from my, from my uh, house I had. Because I have my own bearings from like my rollerblades and I found this like kitchen timer thing and this ping pong paddle and then I had this like extra PVC pipe pipe from something else I built and so it's super inexpensive um, and it works uh, really good um, see it's moving really really nice and slow there um, so yeah, let's let's make the Okay, let's start out with the uh, slider mechanism thing. Uh, so the idea is to use these bearings from like rollerblades or skateboards, skateboard wheels to slide on the PVC or metal pipe. The bearings make it super smooth and like zero friction and stuff. So um, it won't need that much like energy to pull it. Um, so to put them on, I just drilled holes like about a fourth of an inch from the corner of these metal angles um, and I use these axles for my rollerblades but I mean unless you have rollerblades you probably won't I mean unless you have rollerblades you probably won't have these so you could just um, get like a little hex bolt from Home Depot or something they're they're super cheap and uh, screw it on right there and it'll spin fine but you probably will need like a spacer or something to make it further out from there. And then you'll be good on putting these these things on. And then I had I just found this random bolt in my in one of our toolboxes and that's to screw on the tripod. So and then I didn't feel like screwing um, these metal angles onto the wood so I just got some Gorilla Tape taped it on it works fine I mean it doesn't need to be super strong but it's strong enough alright getting on to the motor so um, these are these kitchen timers I used like it only costs probably like five dollars or something but I just had one from a really long time ago in our kitchen that we weren't using so my mom let me use it um, so I just taped it on right here I could just have it on like a separate thing but I, I just wanted to put it on right there because it fit fine so the idea is um, see I put uh, this spinny thing on the idea is you crank it up crank, it'll be cranked up and then it'll slowly move and pull a string around this uh, circle. Pull it around and it'll pull the, th um, the slider across this really slowly. And I mean, it'll, it, using this size um, ping pong paddle circle, it'll t it takes like about like 30 minutes to get across the whole thing. But you can adjust this size to make it, if you wanted it to be even slower, you would have a smaller size circle. If you want it to be be faster, have a bigger size um, circular thing so it pulls more string in um, the certain amount of time. So to screw this on to um, my uh, timer, the plastic part, this top 
part of the timer just comes off and I drilled two holes I drilled yeah I drilled these two um, screws into the um, timer so it's nice and sturdy on there and then it goes right back on nice and easy and it's on there and the timer moves okay so moving on to the PVC and wood or unless you want you could use metal or whatever um you can use basically um you can use different sizes of PVC that'll just change how spaced out this part is of how spaced these bearings are from each other on the angle depending on what size PVC you use um I think I don't even know how what size this is I just had it um but yeah you can do whatever spacing you want just you'll have to make this the right space uh, uh, so it'll fit on it um I just screwed it on on both sides of this wooden plank and um okay so now attaching the string I just have I just taped it on right here and um and then you'll just wrap it or um you'll first crank it up and then since it's moving this way you'll put the string on the left side because it'll move around and pull it so and then you'll just take some more tape where'd my tape go oh here it is all right take some tape and tape it on make sure there's some tension and it'll just get moving and then this is me pulling it oh yeah so I forgot to mention that on the ping pong paddle for the um, string to move efficiently inside it I just got my Dremel and made this little indentation around the whole thing so as the string goes around it goes inside the little indentation right there so yeah this is my um, DIY camera slider um, if you buy the parts it'll probably end up costing around like um, maybe 30 bucks including because the bearings might cost a little more but all the other parts may, might cost like 15 to 20 dollars and it works really awesome and uh, hope I, hopefully I can see some nice time lapses out there alright thanks for watching guys